Welcome to the Solicam University channel. This video's topic is preloading a active tool library. So in Solicam programming, once you've established the part, your coordinate system and your, your stock and your target definitions, um, you will actually have chosen a post processor. That post processor, once you select it, it brings in certain definitions of the machine and how the post should translate what you're doing in the graphical space into the G code. In addition to all of that, we actually have an option now where you can preload which tool library you'd like to use with that post. So we're gonna go through that real quick. So I've got a part on screen and before I even open it up, uh, let's imagine that I know I'm going to put this on a specific machine and I'd like to use a specific tool library, the entire tool library. I know this is, let's say machine one and on machine one, it has a carousel of 12, uh, 20 tools and I'd like to preload all those tools. I know I want to use all those tools eventually in this program So I want to set that up even before I even get started So what we'll do is we'll go to the GPP tool folder. So if we take a look at this library here This is where all your post files are kept on your computer Now if you change the location the address will be different than what we see on my screen But I have it in the default location and that is C users public public documents Solid Cam, Solid Cam 2017, and then GPP Tool. And in here, you'll find all your post files. These are the files sent to you by our post team for either default posts or the custom-made posts. And inside those, these, these lists of files here is the VMID file. Here it's called the machine ID file, but it's essentially .vmid. And it's indicated here by this, uh, this blue icon. This is the definition of your machine related to the post file. And in that post file, if I just double click on it, you'll see that it has all your different accesses, it can, all the different controls and all that stuff. What you wanna go to is working style and under machines tool table name, you'll see a pull down list of all the tool libraries on your computer. Now, for instance, for this particular post, let's say I wanna use my Tyson tools library. So as soon as I choose this post, I want the Tyson tool library to automatically populate. I'm just gonna save that and exit out of there. Let's get this window out of here and let's create a new file. So simply we'll just go to tools, solid cam new milling. We'll just browse to a new location and we'll create this file. Okay, so as always, we're in our setup screen and the first thing I do is choose my post file. So that happened to be the very top post here. So I'm just gonna select that. And of course, to exit out of this window, I need to add a coordinate system. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Okay. So all I've done is just set up the basics. I chose a post, I chose a coordinate system. I'm not gonna go through setting up a stock and a target because again, let's just get to the main screen where we can see our tool library. Normally, you start with a blank tool table. You can add your tools, you can pull them from general libraries, you can even pull the entire tool library from the general libraries, the global libraries. The purpose of preloading it is that as soon as I go to my tool library, it preloaded with my Tyson tools list. So all eight tools from that particular tool library that I preloaded are now found in my active tool library. So just another way of adding a shortcut to your programming. You knew you were gonna use that entire library or at least you wanted to make all, all the, the entire library available, I have done now done that by just preloading based off of which post processor I chose. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. Send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.